It's me, my Amma, and my Appa. I was brought up in a very um, orthodox Indian family. Besides gender inequality, pressure to be the top student, lack of exposure to anything but academics, life was good. So yeah, I was the top student in my school. <laughs> but uh, something happened when I was 16. I had to move to a new school and I was placed in the last class despite me having straight A's. Um, some procedure apparently. So my dad was actually more curious than I was because how can his smart daughter be in the last class with all the rowdy boys? But I had bigger questions in my head. Why were these students so different compared to how I was and all the students that I have known until I was 15? I didn't know who these kids were. I didn't know that these kind of kids existed. I had so many questions. Why they can't speak English? Why did the teachers not come into the class in the past two weeks that I was there? Who are these kids? I moved to a science class, but the questions were stuck in my head. I eventually moved on, went to grad school, graduated, got a job as an engineer. My parents were happy. I moved in with friends. I had the license to freedom. And uh, I earned and lived how I wanted to, as you can see. I wanted to teach some kids, and I thought I was doing great. I had amazing friends. I had money. I had my parents who were far away in Penang, so it was good. Until one day, it really, really hit me. The questions that was there when I was 16. Where are those kids now that I saw when I was 16? Could they be as happy as I am? Were there more kids like them? And what am I doing about it? I did not have answers and I felt very empty. So I quit my job. Oops, there's actually a picture of me and my friend taking photos. So I picked up photography and music after I quit my job. I did event planning, I did wedding planning, I gave tuition, and I traveled the world and finished up my money, but I still did not find any answers, and the emptiness was still there. The questions were now burning. I analyzed all that I did, what made me truly happy. Photography and music is my passion, but something else made me content, something that I really loved and cared about. Kids. So volunteering to teach was the best thing that I ever did. It helped me understand myself. It gave me great satisfaction. I still did not get answers, but at least I knew I was empowering these kids. I gave them hope to be good at something. I teamed up with my cousin Nara and my uncle Bala. I made use of long lunch hours on Fridays and worked on a pilot project with my uncle who was actually counselling at a public school. We trained 30 kids and staged a play, and that was it. I quit my job again. <laughs> and we formed good kids, because this time I actually got the answer. Yes, confidence is the answer. Most of the kids who are growing up in the marginalised and urban poor community in Malaysia suffer from lack of confidence, which makes them to seek other means to gain acceptance. So their negative environment makes the battle for survival supersede their academic excellence. So our pilot batch proved this theory that we had. We made these kids act out their stories to a group of audience. Some of them cheered up when the crowd clapped as this was their first time receiving a praise. They thanked us for actually believing in them because no one actually believed them before. They were stuck under a barrier that their parents, their teachers, peers, and us, the society, have said. If you can't study, your life is doomed. But the fact is, life does not end there. We wanted to give them hope, rebuild their confidence, and make them believe in themselves. So, Good Kids was born, and then we found buckets. So bucket drums combined with acting and counseling is the Good Kids program that we developed to help kids develop self-confidence. So this is 
some of our students who had super confidence, as you can see. So, in the process of running this program, I learned a lot too. I learned that youth need a role model, someone who they can trust and run to when they need it. It actually made me very nervous knowing that, you know, everything I do, I say, I'm being watched. But I realized that if it was not me or my team members, they do not have anyone else to look up to. So in the past five years, we have impacted over 450 students. Some of them have made it to college. We have developed amazing drummers, actors, and a lot of them are actually coming back to give to other students now. Our persistence in reminding the kids that they are good, they are capable, and they are worth it is what turns them around. These are the boys who initially could not speak English, but at this event, they actually shook hands and had a conversation with the US ambassador after performing an amazing drum piece at their event. So we have the formula for transformation, but we need support. We have a proven method, and we have proven our impact, and we are ready to set up an academy. An academy that provides holistic and alternative learning for urban poor kids and youth. So, with that, my question that I had when I was 16 is answered. And now I would like to leave you guys with a question. We are ready to create more smiley faces like this. The question is, who, which one of you are going to walk along with us? And what are you going to do to support us? With that, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kogi. I'm the co-founder of Good Kids. Please visit goodkids.com.my. Thank you.